Happy Bank Holiday Monday. Happy Bank Holiday Monday. Reese, I'm not spending two and a half grand on a fridge. Can someone explain to me why you need Wi-Fi in your fridge? Are we at mini golf, mate? Oh! oh! Yay! I know, right? I'm back. Obviously, that was a hefty bill. So yeah, that was a romantic conversation. So I'm just trying to decide whether I like this or not. Years of watching Say Yes to the Dress, that is. Moving in the first week of June are realistic. Marie says they're not. Please don't sound too enthusiastic. Yeah. Is that a dinosaur? Tom is at a filming studio. My teeth journey is going really well. I know, doesn't it? Is it daddy? It took seconds to apply. Yeah. How's your day going, Tom? But this one's a dog. It smelled really nice. The other one smelled a bit like a nan. It's still a lot to spend on a bedside lamp, and I know that. My sister has had the baby now. The smallest, tiniest, beautifulest, cutest little thing I've ever seen in the whole entire world. Oh, shit, this is gonna be us again. Yeah. Hey everyone, we have just pulled up to John Lewis. It is Bank Holiday Monday. Happy Bank Holiday Monday. Happy Bank Holiday Monday. We are going to look at a fridge freezer. I said in the previous vlog, I think not last week, the week before, that Reese is one of Reese's conditions for allowing me to do the majority of the stuff to the house is that he is allowed a freestanding bath tick and an American style fridge freezer with plumbing. Water and ice. Water and ice. Anyway, um, so we are off to go and look at that because we need to check the dimensions, we need to make sure that we like it. It doesn't get much more excited than that at the minute. Honestly, really. who, how else would you want to spend your bank holiday Monday? Hugo's at home with Granny and Gramps because he has conjunctivitis still. A bit of a full weekend, a full a full on week the past week, isn't it really? Because he's just, he's yeah. not been well, he's had a rotten cold, he finished his course of antibiotics last week for his throat infection. And for some reason, he's now got a cold, which is fabulous. Great. And then and he's now got conjunctivitis. And he's just not feeling right. And he's also going through transition down to one nap. It's just a bit... It's all a lot. It's all a lot. I mean, these also, are... But his transition to one nap has just been screwed over because over the Easter breaks, no clubs are open. Like, none of his usual playgroups that he'd go to. So where he'd be busy and occupied until, like, 11 or 11.30, he's now not doing that. So he's just getting bored at home and it's raining all the time, so there's nothing to actually do. So he just wants to nap because he's like, well, there's nothing to do, I may as well nap. And he's under the weather. And he's also big it, like this morning, he was up at quarter past five. That was lovely. Yeah, we're having a great time. Yeah. It's going well. Anyway, should we go look at a fridge freezer? Let's go look at a fridge freezer. I just don't see the point in this. Just so you can see what's inside your fridge, but Surely you can just open the door to do that. You'd just open your door, wouldn't you? Yeah. That makes no sense to me. So this is the one we're looking at. This is the Samsung 8 series. It is quite expensive, I won't lie, but it's got like a C energy rating and most of them are E's or F's. And this is the only C one available, which just means that we're gonna save a hell of a lot of money every year on the fridge freezer, basically. So yes, it's more money, but it's gonna save us money, isn't it? Oh yeah, that says 912 millimeter width. Oh, so that will fit in the space. Yeah. Interesting. Reese, I'm not spending two and a half grand on a fridge. Can someone explain to me why you need Wi-Fi in your fridge? I think it's so you can check, like actually when you're at home, and no, when you're out shopping, I think it's so you can check like what, what you've got in the fridge. What you've someone, got in it? Yeah, someone genuinely told me that before. So is this the one you want, my my it little is prince? The, this is the one. Five year guarantee included, stunning. It's just good. Cool. Holiday mode. Holiday mode activated, here we go. Well, hey. It would work. Go on, get your milk out. I mean, it doesn't get much better, does it? Also, a big debate is, do people keep the eggs in their fridge? Because I absolutely do not. I, I just don't understand it. No. They can keep that and hopefully knock about £300 off. Yeah, hopefully. So these are our tumble dryer and washing machine that we're going to get. Little Beko numbers. Do the job. But they're not ridiculously expensive. Like these ones over here, they're about ten grand. So Reese thinks these futuristic ones are really cool, where they've just got all the buttons as a touch screen. But... Like, it's quite cool, I've never seen that before. Yeah, but it's a grand. It's a lot of money. It is, isn't it? 
is actually quite a cool feature. It's one of those features that you never thought you'd needed, right? So say the wash is on and it's going and going and going and going and you think, oh my God, I forgot to put a t-shirt in. You just slot it in. Yeah. Are we at mini golf, mate? Play mini golf. Hey! You meant to leave that in there, actually. Out with the girls. Liliana, you're going to be really hard to lose. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> he looks like he's drunk. You do look like you're drunk, mate, don't you? You've literally had one sip of fruit shoot and you can't stand up straight. <laughs> Careful. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Wanna get your foot out of there? Did you get it in? No. Got a great view of the backside there. Two Amelie. Might make up for the other ones. <laughs> I wonder why you said nice view of your backside. <laughs> no, I'm, oh. really I'm oh. not enjoying it. I'm not. You've left your <laughs> You're not very good at this, Hugo. You've left your club behind again. Well, let's go. Go get your club, babe. You. You go. Oh. oh, that would have been a trick shot if it went in. Oh! oh. Hey. Yay! You done a poo poo? But he came last, 76. In third we have Liliana with 73. Whee! In second we have Tom with 65. Yeah, I'd be few no, in you go. In first place of Avenue 56. You had the scorecard last on the right. And she's lying. <laughs> Right, I think it's nap time. <laughs> so I'm actually not sure what you guys heard at the end of that mini golf session because Hugo was screaming a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And I don't know how much that's picked up on camera. Sorry if you just heard lots of screaming. He was very much due a nap. But anyway, apart from that little situation, we had a lovely day playing mini golf. Honestly, it was just nice to have like a cousin's day out. We haven't done a proper cousin's day out in a while. I know obviously my sister wasn't there, but it was just nice to have a little cousin's day out, even if it was only for a couple of hours. It was just so much fun. My cousin Amelie won, I came second, and then my cousin Liliana came third and Sophia came fourth. And I'm not surprised that Sophia came fourth because she was shocking. She really was shocking. I'm not sure how Amelie won. She was the person with the scorecard and that's all I'm saying. But yeah, no, she won. Um, but yeah, it was such a lovely day. Had such a great time. Straight after we finished the game, I basically took Hugo, changed his nappy, said goodbyes to everyone and we headed off home and he had literally like a 15, 20 minute nap on the way home. And then I woke him up straight away because I was like, you are going to be tired. Because this morning he woke up at like five or 5.30 and was like, this is when we start the day. And me and Reese were like, it's absolutely not going back to sleep. Luckily he did end up going back to sleep. But the thing is, we just don't want him to get into that mindset of like, I'm waking up at five o'clock now because no, you're not Hugo. No, you're not because your dad still want to sleep. I've got a day to myself tomorrow to just blitz and do stuff that I really need to do. Sort house stuff out, update you on a few things. And I'm even going to a PT. I'm going back. I kind of went MIA for a bit on the whole working out front. But it's time. It really is time, guys. So I've just pulled up to the PT. I know, right? I'm back. But I'll talk more about that afterwards because I've literally got like five minutes to catch you up with this morning. Hugo's conjunctivitis is pretty much almost gone. Great. Happy about that. Love and life. His teething is still really bad. Like really, really bad. He is in pain, bless him. He's with my mum today and I felt awful leaving him this morning. But also at the same time, I was just like, I need five minutes. Like just five minutes would be great. So yeah, I went and paid for the kitchen this morning, went and paid for the downstairs flooring, like the herringbone flooring that we're going with. Um, so that was not fun because obviously that was a hefty bill. <sighs> but it'll all be worth it in the end. It's gonna look so lovely and I'm so excited for it. And then I quickly swung by the house. So the plastering is well underway. It's almost finished, should be finished by the end of this week. Uh, and the patio will be finished tomorrow. So yeah, that's the update of this morning so far. I am gonna go into the PT now because I have one minute until my session. I'm so nervous. I It's just nerve wracking going into a PT, I personally think. Um, I mean, Sam is so easygoing and so chilled out and he's just a nice person to sort of like work out alongside, but I just get nervous going. 
I just, I really do. Thing is though, there are people that are better than me, there are people that are worse than me at gymming. So I just gotta go in with an open mind and know that this is sort of something that I just have to do. I just need someone to tell me what to do, how to do it, and to push me, um, because I think all motivation has just gone lately. I just feel a little bit drained at the moment. Um, yeah. But, you know, my emotional breakdowns are a story for another time. So I'm back in the car. I'm just waiting for Reese because, um, because I bought him a McDonald's because he's got a busy day. Hello? Okay, bye. Here he is. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What's that block? There you go. That's our patio slab. What? One of our patio slabs. Oh, it's because I need to colour match it to the, you know, the back wall that I've got to paint in the garden. Oh. I need to colour match it because I was going to paint but it you white. Said, can I take this? Yeah, I said, oh, can I have that patio slab that snapped? And he went, yeah. It's not snapped, it was like an off-cut that yeah. you cut off. Good though, now does it... Yeah, it looks really it nice. Been... But I was going to paint the wall white to try and pick out one of these colours and paint the wall one of those colours because yeah. it will look nicer than white. It might feel a bit bright in your eyes. Yeah, white's going to be too yeah. good. Like he's having a good time. He's having a lovely time, babes. Yeah. All right. All right, hey, love you, bye. My straw in here. Yeah, your straw's in there, don't you worry. Okay, bye. So yeah, that was a romantic conversation. Anyway, um, he didn't even give me a kiss. I bought him a McDonald's. I didn't even have a McDonald's myself. I bought him a McDonald's because, you know, I'm a vision of health now. <laughs> I am off to Dunelm now because there's basically a few lampshades that I need to get. There's some throws that I like. Just loads of little bits and bobs that I really like and I want to get for the house. So before I spend all my money, well, actually, I've done that this morning because I paid for the kitchen and the flooring. So I'm going to go and spend more money, basically. Yeah. Who needs to eat? Right, so I'm in Dunelm and I'm trying to decide whether I want fake flowers or real flowers in the house. Like, fake flowers are just done and dusted, aren't they? But some of these look really fake. Like, I love hydrangeas, but they, they just look fake. The eucalyptus, I reckon we could get away with, you know. I quite like the eucalyptus, but there's only two pieces of it, so I'm probably just going to have to order it online. I did grab this, um, but I've decided that in person, I actually don't like it as much as I like it online. So I'm actually gonna put it back. So it's been a wasted trip to be fair because I haven't seen anything I like yet. I've seen two lampshades, I might get those. Okay, so online I really liked these, right? But they look really cheap and bubbly in person. Don't think I'm a massive fan. Also online, this was like a beige color and it's absolutely not here. So I'm just trying to decide whether I like this or not. I don't know if I'm gonna look like a Someone that like lives in ancient Greek times. I think they're cute. Maybe I get them. Worst case scenario, I bring them back, right? We need some masonry paint for this outside wall, so I think we're going for the oak lacoma colour there. It's like it was between that and Breckenridge. I think Oklahoma is going to look a bit warmer and a bit nicer in the garden. I've just gone for like or weather protection. I don't think we need extreme weather. We don't really have extreme weather in the UK, do we? Let's be honest. So I'm just about to start. I'm just about to start work. But before I do, I've just got back. I've got showered finally. After, I mean, I literally went to the PT and then went straight out shopping and like walked around people. And I thought I must smell because yes, I was wearing the same jumper as yesterday. Yes, I was. Okay. But I thought, well, if I'm going to sweat, I might as well sweat in something I've already worn. And it didn't smell bad anyway. Anyway, sorry, that's by the by. I just thought I'd quickly show you the things I got. I mean, it's it's not a lot, it's not a haul or anything. It's two lampshades. I ended up not getting the throw. I ended up not getting the two sort of like bedside lamps. Didn't really get a lot, to be honest. I got, I got that paint I was talking about, that Oklahoma paint, I got that. Firstly, I got this. It's a little lampshade for Hugo's room. Obviously, it's gonna go with the colors. It's got the mustard, it's got like a tealy turquoise color, it's got the gray. The only thing is it does have hot pink and I just, I've not got anything about pink in a boy's room. I absolutely do not. But I just don't like the hot pink with the rest of these colors. I think it would look so much cuter if it was like that corally, like corally peachy color. So I'm gonna see if I can get any corally peachy pom-poms online somewhere because then I'll just put them on here. Nice, bright and colorful. Then I got this for the spare room. So it's like a three tiered, like organza -y style fabric. Is it organza? Yeah, organza. Look at me, you know my things. Years of watching Say Yes to the Dress, that is. But yeah, it goes like white, light gray, and then a darker gray. 
it's basically, it's a lampshade we've got on a lamp at the moment in our living room, but that lamp and lampshade is actually gonna go upstairs in the spare room. So when I saw that they had a matching one of those still, like four and a half years later, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. And that is pretty much all I got at Dunelm. We found bedside lamps that we like actually now in Next, so we're gonna grab those but they just didn't have them actually in the store, so we're gonna to have to buy them online and hope they don't smash on the way. Slowly all coming together. Found a throw online as well and found some pillows online from Delilah Grace, which is where we're getting our sofa from. So I think there'll be like little scatter pillows on our bed. All just sounds cute. I'm excited. Do I see us being in by June still? Yes. And hopefully I'll be saying it with confidence soon. Hi gang, we're in London. Um, Hugo is asleep, you can probably see just over Reese's shoulder. Nice chubby cheeks. Yeah, proper chubby cheeks and the chins. We have just got to London because we're going to an event today with Next. We're going to like their spring family party, um, which we're super excited about. And we're feeling quite spring. I feel like spring sprung nice today. today. After the torrential rain yesterday, I feel like this is, this is it. Yeah. We're living. Then we're going to grab some lunch and then I've got to go home and work afterwards. I mean, it's not really work. It's like our friend Georgia. It's not really work, is yeah. it? Probably just have a gossip and whack some colour on our head and hope for the best. Reese went to the house today. He has paid the patio man and the patio man has now finished. It looks stunning. So good. So looks good. So nice. We've got a meeting tomorrow with the builder and the painter and decorator just to decide what the timings are looking like and whether my expectations of moving in the first week of June are realistic. Reese says they're not. <laughs> but they told me the whole way along. Like the builders said the whole way yeah, along, I like they'd should... be finished end of April. I do think the majority of everything will be done by the end of next month. Like, especially like painting, decorating, all of that. Driveway should be near done. And then it's literally just a case of moving in. But part of me just feels like it's not gonna be ready or we're gonna have like a couple of weeks delay. The problem like, we'll is We'll definitely it's got... be in June. We'll definitely be in June, but I just don't know if it's gonna be end of May we move in. But the problem is we've got is all of the furniture, the removals van, everything is literally being delivered the first week of June. So it's got to be done. Mm. And I'm gonna have to just reiterate that to them and hope for the best. But anyway, it's a lovely sunny day. So when he wakes up, we're gonna go and enjoy it. Yes. Please don't sound too enthusiastic. Yes. Well, shall we pull your trousers down a little bit? There we go. <laughs> Do you like those muslins? Oh, is that a dinosaur? What does a dinosaur do? Rawr. Rawr. He's slowly warming up to the children that are over there. At the moment, he's just ruining the muslin display. So that's great. So this was the outfit we ordered for Hugo that didn't arrive in time. So he's just wearing this little number. Oh, I mean, you look pretty matchy to be fair. We do, don't we, actually? Yeah. You got... Wow. Wow. Is that all you wanted? Just a couple of bowls? That one. Is it Hugo? Yeah. Is it Hugo? Hi guys, so today Tom is at a filming studio for hair, hair related things. And so I am home with Hugo all day. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I'm at a point where I'm just so fed up with what it looks like. If anyone's got any vibes they want to send my way for what you think would look good, then please do, because I literally look a mess. A really cute thing that Hugo started doing now as well, which is he'll say two words together. So earlier he was like, bye daddy. And it was so cute because you suddenly think it's not just one word answers now. Like it's not just one, like he won't just say juice or water or whatever he wants, like he, he's starting to put things together, which is so good. All of the house will be plastered by next Tuesday, which is surreal because literally the beginning of the week, I think we had one or two walls plastered in the whole house. And so the painter can do the mist coat in the kitchen next week, I think starting Monday and Tuesday. And then our kitchen from Howden's comes on Wednesday 
and then they're fitting the kitchen. Oh, and the flooring comes on Wednesday. So yeah, kitchen, flooring. I'm not sure when the worktop comes because that's like two separate big pieces. So yeah, I'm not sure when that comes, but then they're gonna fit that the following week on from Monday onwards. They're also gonna lay the flooring that we got from Howden's. I think Tom had to have a chat with the builder today to say, look, is my ambition of being in by my birthday, 7th of June, Tom would kill me if I got that wrong. Is that unrealistic? And he, I don't know what, what he said because I forgot to ask Tom, but that's what's going around in my head right now is dates, dates, dates. It's just going to be so weird to be in the house, but can't wait. It'd be so nice to have people around. It's all exciting, it's all coming together. For those of you that actually care, uh, my teeth journey is going really well. I'm really pleased with how they are looking. So we are currently watching Tom on Idea World. Hugo, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Thank you very much. Yep. There you go. You who's that? Who is that? I know, doesn't it? Is it Daddy? It took seconds to apply. Yeah. So she was a bit skeptical at first. Of course. Um, but then we put it on her, and I, I think it's going home with you, isn't it? To be honest, all of our wigs actually are hand tied um, around the legs at the front, so it looks like the most natural hairline that you can possibly yeah. get. Especially in Anne Marie's case, she's got a beautiful skin tone, and this hair, oh. the root, really works perfectly because yeah. she said before she doesn't really enjoy being a blonde, so having that natural root and then also the blonde through the face and brightening brightening up around the face, it's perfectly. That's incredible, it really is. Okay, so I've just got back from the show. I was so nervous, it was so nerve wracking. I don't actually know what I did, what I said, or what actually happened, but it was a great show. I was so blessed and honored to have been asked to have been a part of it. It was our first time on there. Hopefully there will be many, many more and we will just improve with time. But also said like, for our first like appearance on there, we did such a great job, so I'm so pleased with that. But yeah, anyway, I'm home. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm gonna go and snuggle up to Reese. Hugo's already gone to bed, so I wasn't able to say goodnight to him, but yeah. It's Saturday and we are off to a kid's birthday party today. Really excited. Oh, I feel like all we're doing at the moment is going to birthday parties. This time it's a third birthday party. We're mixing it up. We've done a second, we've done a fifth. Why not do a third? I think it's Frozen themed, so I think a special Disney guest is going to be arriving. But this morning, Reese, Hugo and I set off out and we went and got some bits basically. We went to B&M and we got some bits for like the house, just like standard bits, nothing too fancy or special. And then we went to Next Home and we have got bedside lamps. We've got them, it's sorted. Do you know what, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my camera over there and then I'm gonna show you guys. So I literally just filmed a whole thing talking through all the B&M stuff and it turns out I wasn't recording. How's your day going, Tom? First up, we've got the Scrub Daddy. Now the Scrub Daddy, scratch free, dishwasher safe, deep cleaning and versatile smile. Now this isn't the usual Scrub Daddy, it's usually a yellow smiley face, but this one's a dog, apparently. And the smile's good for like putting spoons in and rubbing around, you can put your fingers in there and then really get deep into things like cups and mugs and all that sort of stuff. It's just really versatile and we've heard loads about it and we wanted to get it. There were other ones that were like called Scrub Mummy or Scrub Mama or whatever they were, but me and Reese basically put our foot down and was like, we're not gonna get anything that isn't the daddy. And that might sound pathetic, but here we are. I also realized I always put my camera here, right next to the clock, and you're probably just hearing ticking the whole way through. And I'm really sorry about that. We also got this from B&M, this is the pink stuff. So it, you get two lots of the pink stuff in there and then you get like a little toothbrush style attachment with four different brush heads. One is a firm comb brush head and then you've got a soft brush head and then you've got a medium and a large. And I've just heard so much stuff about the pink stuff. So we got this just because apparently it's great for all surfaces, it's great for everything. It really gets out the dirt and grit and all the stuff that isn't usually able to be got out. I think it was about 10 pound. And I think that that's pretty good. I don't know how much pink stuff usually costs, but I think that's pretty good. And then we got some of this Lenore Crease Release. Is it Crease Release? Crease Releaser. Is it gonna focus? No, it's not, but you can see, there we go. So apparently you literally just spray this. You can spray this on bedding, you can spray this on clothing, anything. And within minutes, like all the creases have just dropped out. Like literally wild. And then we got some Zaflora because I feel like I heard Mrs. Hinch talk about it once and everyone went mad over it, but obviously we didn't have like our own house to be living in to be having Zaflora. 
I mean, we could have just got Siflora. I don't know why we didn't, but we got some. I don't know if this is the right stuff to get, but we saw it and we thought, that smells nice. Remove soap scum and lime scale. It's Caribbean grapefruit and lime. It smelled really nice. The other one smelled a bit like a nan. Nothing against nans, but I just don't want my bathroom smelling like one. So that was like all of our B&M finds. And then we went into Next. So we went into Next Home and then we also got this lovely little outfit. It's like a muslin style material. It's like a peachy coral. It's like shorts, top, and it's got poppers at the back for like easily getting it on your baby's head. But we just thought this was really, really cute. We have actually ordered something that's stripy. I think I showed it the other day when we went to like the next event. It was like peach and white stripe romper. Oh, it's unreal. And then we finally got our bedside lamps. So these are the Gloucester large table lamp. I mean, they're huge. It's not 65 pounds, it was actually 60 pounds. It's still a lot to spend on a bedside lamp and I know that but I really like them. They're like glass and chrome, and then they've got sort of like a, I don't know what, would we call it hessian? No, not hessian. I don't know, linen? Like a linen style lampshade up there. But yeah, really, really cute, really warm and cozy. They're gonna be our bedside lamps. That's pretty much it. We're probably gonna to go to the party now. Hugo's just finished his lunch. Reese is just getting him ready. You're not part of the Bielsa entertainer then, no? Just taking yourself away to a dark corner, yeah? Right, we are just leaving. Reese is getting his lips smackable, apparently. That's it. Got a day out. We've got a day out. It's a very spontaneous day out. We weren't actually going to be going out today. Um, Reese was going to be having Hugo, and I was going to be going to the house to sort out bits in the garden. You're going to be painting. But I was, yeah. But apparently, we have to ask permission to paint someone else's wall, even though it's in our garden. It's our, so like our garden backs onto someone else's garden and there's a wall in our garden that just, I think it needs painting. It's yeah. not the most attractive of colors. I'm gonna basically paint it, but apparently I have to ask permission. So we'll do that another day. We are off to go and see my sister, her husband and their newborn baby because my sister has had the baby now. Today is like officially her due date. However, she gave birth a few days ago. It's mad, we're uncles. Isn't it proper weird? Wild. I know, right? You're not actually in the camera, you know? Oh, there we sorry. go. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go off there now. Obviously, I'm not going to vlog meeting the baby because one, I think it's a very personal experience and two, my sister and her husband aren't the most Instagram and social media savvy people in the world. I would say they're not Instagram savvy. I'd no, just... I mean, they're just like, they're, they are quite private, they're private people. people. Yeah. So obviously we appreciate that and we respect that. We won't be filming any of the meeting the baby and we probably never will be filming the baby. We are off to go and meet a little baby. It's crazy to think there's so many babies this year. I know, right? Christmas is going to be manic. Yeah. My mum's going to be in her element. Yeah. If you could get a takeaway at Christmas, I think she would this year. I don't think so. No, she would. No, she wouldn't. She likes it. She likes the chaos. Yeah, she does. Anyway, we're gonna go. Hugo's just getting in the car with my mum and dad, so we best set off before he sees us driving off real quick. We just left Tom's sister's house yeah. after seeing a cute little new addition to the family. Yeah. We have a beautiful little baby niece. She is the smallest, tiniest, beautifulest, cutest little thing I've ever seen in the whole entire world. Bar Hugo, no offense. She's just, she's just lovely. Oh, she's, she's so, so pretty, isn't she? So, so pretty. pretty. She's like a perfect mixture of both of them. She has like my sister's mouth, but then like her husband's eyes. Like, it's just, oh, she's adorable. Yeah, she is. I do, I think I love her a bit too much. Reese was like, we took their pram down because um, apparently it's bad luck to have your pram in your house before your baby's born, right? At least yeah. it, my mum decides it is. So my mum's been keeping hold of the pram. We took it down today for them so that they could have their pram. Reese was like carrying it whilst I was carrying the hamper of stuff that I made. And Reese got to the door first and I was literally yelling oh, like, down you my sister's street. Like, you dare go in there first and see my niece before I do. Oh my uh, God. So I definitely woke up the neighbors. Basically, um, I'm just that person. Psycho. Yeah. They're just oh, naturals at it. Yeah, it's like, so natural. They just, and you can tell by like, the, just the way they look at her and each other, like they're just, it's just lovely. Yeah. It is. I mean, it was really daunting, obviously, because we know that that's gonna be us in 17 weeks time. I know, and I don't know um, how to do that with Hugo as well. No, I really don't. With like a child running around, I don't know how, I really don't know how we're gonna manage. No. I'm panicked now. 
I think it's slowly sinking in now that we've actually seen a baby. Yeah. Like a, a, a fresh newborn baby, I think it's now sinking in what's what's coming. Oh shit, this is gonna be us again. Yeah. I think it reinstated like that that state is so precious and so lovely. Yeah. But like it, it they feed all the time, don't they? And I forgot that that's what happens and they yeah. they kind of want you all the time. And like how dependent they are like all the oh time. God, I forgot about it. Like I, Hugo now, you just literally put him down, leave him in a room. Not leave, well, we him don't room, leave him in a room, but you put him down. Leave you him to his own devices, yeah, and he will just play and play and play and play. And I forgot that you can't. Do that to me. No, you can't. <laughs> so on the way home from my sister's, we have stopped at Mr. Village, not because we need anything, but just because it's something to do. And my mum was like, "Make a day out of it." So we are utilising that, that day, day <laughs> with no Hugo, because I think as well after just having a baby in our arms for a bit, we thought we need to utilise the day that someone is looking after a child, because when we have two, there's gonna be less opportunity for that. Bista was just diabolical, basically. There was absolutely nothing we wanted, nothing we liked, just nothing. So we are home now, we've had some dinner. Hugo is having a final little play with Dada and me when I go back in there, and then we're off to bed. That's that. Thank you everyone for tuning in again for another week of, I don't even know what we've done but whatever we've done, do what you usually do. Do the most, like, comment, subscribe, the lot. Love you guys and see you next week.